Ladies and gentlemen, we are back for our main event of the evening. It is our lightweight title fight. Mike Wilkins is fighting Robert Hanna. Couple of gladiators of the cage veterans. It's going to be a very exciting fight. Let's take a look at our tail of the tape. We've got Mike Wilkins, 28 years of age, 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, with an unbeaten professional record of five wins and no losses. He is fighting Robert Hanna, the fourth. He is 30 years of age, 5 feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, with a professional record of five wins and zero losses. Couldn't ask for much more of an even match. Really. No, it, it's going to be a really great fight. I mean, yeah. Robert Hanna's fought many times in Gladiators of the Cage, a local favorite, but I got to say Mike Wilkins is is the man. He is the Pittsburgh man. You He's know? a stud, and he brings a great fan base with him. Yeah, absolutely. Robert Hanna already making his way out to the cage. Yeah, Robert Hanna's been fighting professionally. He's... He's uh, got quite a name for himself around here. He's, I, I believe he's fought in the last few Gladiators of the Cage fights. He's, this is actually the big fight. Main event, pro lightweight title at 155 pounds. You know, you know, it's really interesting about Rob Hanna is he doesn't really declare any gym as his home base. He calls himself an independent. He had his own gym at one point. Now he just goes and trains everywhere, and he says, it's, you know, right now I'm focusing on me, and I like that strategy. Yeah. He's not shortcutting anyone else. He's saying, I'm training about me right now. Like a ronin, like a samurai with no master. Yeah, and you know what? Man, he's been putting on some great performances, and he's a scary dude right now. I tell you what, Chuck. I know we've been making a lot of jokes tonight in regards to our sponsorships and, and you know, how much I love Comanny Brothers in Armorville. But I do want to take a minute and just say thank you and, and give a shout out to what's the, the thing that's making this all happen right now. And that's Gladiators of the Cage. Gladiators of the Cage is the premier fight promotion in Pennsylvania. They travel. I mean, we've, we've gone with Gladiators to Ohio. We've gone all over the state of Pennsylvania. We've been taken care of like kings. I mean, and I'm so proud to work for Gladiators of the Cage and be able to commentate and, and watch all of these world-class fights. Great, I couldn't have said it better myself. And it's, you know, I've not only considered Robert Joseph and Scott Benton, the guys that are, are putting all this hard work and time in to make this happen, I don't just can consider them acquaintances. They're really friends. And, uh, man, I'll tell you, another great show. Listen to this crowd for Mike Wilkins. Yeah, Mike Wilkins. I'm not even kidding. Go on Twitter and look up hashtag who is Mike Wilkins. It's, it's uh, got a pretty big following. And if he doesn't, then go ahead and post on that hashtag, who is Mike Wilkins, and, and add to the following so that what I just said does not turn out to be a falsity. Uh, one of the nicest guys you'll talk to also. Absolutely. He's a true gentleman. He he's, loves the sport. You know, he's, he's all about helping others. He's just a quality, quality guy. You know, and I really like the way he carries himself, and he's a great representative of not only the sport, this company as well. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when I when I first moved here from the West Coast, I had a friend that knew Mike Wilkins and uh, had gone to Henzo's and trained, and he said, hey, you want to go check out a gym? Let's go to Henzo's. Mike Wilkins was there, never met me before, never even, you know, had no reason to be cool or anything like that. Brought us right in. We trained with him, rolled with him, wrestled. Just a, a class act guy. I mean, honestly, one of the greatest uh, greatest first uh, impressions you can get from someone is, is from Mike Wilkins. Yeah, and sometimes that's a, a rarity in this sport where there's, there can be so many egos and so forth in dojos, but we're fortunate in this area of guys like Mike Wilkins, and they're all about developing others, than, and not just themselves, but others. And, and you can tell, listen to this crowd. That doesn't just speak of his fighting ability, but it speaks as his character. Oh, absolutely. I tell you what, kid's got a, got a couple of tricks up his sleeve when it comes to grappling, too. <laughs> Sponsor approved and sanctioned by the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission. Executive Director is Greg Serb. Our judges for this evening's fights have been Todd Krushka, Andrew Long, and John Leksevic. Go referee, simply the best, Chip Snyder. Our timekeeper, Stephen the Hammer Cruz. Position at ringside, Dr. Frank Costa. I'm Dan Bogan. Our ring girls, Crystal and Ashton. Mackenzie doing after fight interviews and our broadcast team, Charlie Smith and Grant Berger. Thank you all. This is the one we've been waiting for, your main event. This is in the Gladiators of the Cage, professional light heavyweight division, and it is for the vacant championship of the world. This will be three five-minute rounds. First, fighting out of the blue corner, 
He weighed in at 155 pounds. He stands five feet, 10 inches tall. His reach is 100, is rather is 73 inches. His age, 30. He's a professional record of five wins and no losses. He's an independent fighter. He's out of Beaver Creek representing Dayton, Ohio. Ladies and gentlemen, Rob Hanna! And his opponent fighting out of the red corner. He's the leader of the Wilkins Army, weighing in at 155 pounds, standing 5 feet 10 inches tall. His reach, 72 inches. Age 28, he has a record professionally of five wins, one loss. He fights for Henzo Gracie Pittsburgh. He's from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Wilkins. Let's go to Chip Snyder for the final instructions. Okay, you guys are the main event. Show these people why you guys are the main event. It's for a belt, you know, work hard for this fight. Yes, okay, sir. we went over the rules in the back. I expect you to obey them and me at all times. Any questions red? No, sir. Okay, any questions blue? Touch them, let's go back, gentlemen. This is it, Chuck. This is the moment we've all been waiting for. Yeah, don't blink. Over there, Rob. Over there. Yeah, do not Okay, blink. gentlemen, here we go. Ready, let's bang, come on. Both of these guys want this really bad. Uh, be, I mean, beating Mike Wilkins would be such a big thing. Wow, look at the setup for the arm bar. Oh, you're oh, kidding wow. me. You're oh, kidding man. me. He almost caught that arm lock. What a great, both of them almost had an arm lock in the first 10 seconds of the fight. And now Wilkins is fully mounted. You don't want to let these nerves get to you and make a mistake really early. You want to get those jitters out of the way and compose yourself. But boy, you don't want to compose yourself with someone on your full mount. It's the time you need to, Grant. There he is doing a beautiful game plan right now. Pushed his head against the fence. Oh, oh he's got the hooks. Don't give Mike Wilkins your back. Oh, that, that's, a, that's a big, big mistake. You've trained with him before. How difficult is it to get Mike Wilkins off of your back? Oh, it, he just eats, sleeps, breathes jujitsu. I mean... Yeah, it, it's just, it's not where you want to be. Mike Wilkins, it's, it's, I, I, don't, I don't know for sure, but I think he lives at Henzo's. I think he just sleeps there at night and wakes up and rolls and then just eats there. I think he eats at Permanis <laughs> for lunch. <laughs> wow, That's, that, that looks like it. He's already, he's already working that choke. And Hannah's doing a good job of defending. He's getting risk control. This is what he needs to do. I mean, Robert Hanna needs to make a really big shift right now yeah. if he's going to get out of this. He, he really needs to work towards the cage. Yeah, it's three and a half minutes left in this round. He cannot just defend the choke right now. He needs to get Mike Wilkins off of him. Yeah, he needs to roll right now, get through a good stand up. Good job. And there it is. There it is, folks. That's, that's just what we were thinking. Yep, great job. And now he takes Wilkins Beautiful. down. Beautiful. And you know how much Robert Hanna likes to ground and pound. Look at Wilkins, though. Very smartly takes his right hand and grabs the left hand of Hanna so he can't punch. Absolutely. That's a good setup for a Kimura. Also. And a great job there by Hanna putting his knee on Wilkins' arm so he can punch. Yeah, Hanna's doing a good job, too. He's, he's doing a great job snaking his head in between the grip of Wilkins. Every time Wilkins got his hands clapped together, Hanna's breaking his grip of his head. Yeah. No matter how good of a submission guy you are, you don't want to be trying to apply those submissions with your head up against the cage. No. Wilkins has to circle, use his legs, use his feet. If he's not going to try to stand up here, he needs to circle and get his head towards the center of the cage so he can actually work these submissions. But you can't absorb too many of these elbows from Hannah. Hannah is a ground and pound machine. Yeah, I mean, kudos already to Hannah. He escaped that, that terrible back mount. He escaped the rear naked choke attempt of Wilkins. Wilkins is definitely working for something else from his guard. I mean, he's looking for the arm lock, and we all know that. But Hannah's still here playing with fire. Yeah. If you play with fire too long, we all know what's happening. You cook something. 
Good job by, by Wilkins for standing back up. Good job getting back in the center. Good show of respect. And here they're going to bang. Nice knee by Hannah. Good job of mixing those knees up with strikes. Quick little flurry. Both back to the center of the cage. One, two by Wilkins. Hannah's just driving straight forward. He really wants a good angle cut by Wilkins, and now he lands a couple of his own knees in retaliation from those from Hannah. Wow, Wilkins shot. is landing. Oh, slip by Wilkins, a stroke of misfortune. And Hannah jumps him out. He sees his opportunity, and sometimes that's what the great fighters do. Yeah, don't question it, just go. Exactly. He's got Wilkins in a very vulnerable position. Yeah, if, if Mike Wilkins having your back is terrible, having Rob Hanna on top of you in full mount is equally as terrible. Don't, don't make me pick which one I want, because I don't want either. <laughs> and here the crowd rallying behind Wilkins. I thought they were saying kill him for a second, but I'm glad to hear it's Wilkins. Oh, wow, Rob Hanna's all over Wilkins right now. Yeah, but Wilkins has been in this position a million times. Oh, look how wow. easy he gets up, and he's trying to break wrist control already. I look for Hanna to just maybe push him forward here time, up guys. against the cage. There it is. Try to change level here and get that last takedown or a couple strikes. Good job. Oh, wow, that first round is, is in the books, but that was fantastic. Well, Hanna's raising his hands. He's pumped about this. He's letting the people know, hey, I won the first round. I'm coming back winning. You know, in a pivotal part of that fight, could have been where he actually slipped a little bit. Wilkins did, that is, and Hannah seizing the opportunity and then hurries up and takes them out. Yeah, absolutely. I, I wouldn't want to have to score that fight as one of the judges. I no. mean, because Wilkins had that submission attempt. He took the back, that, but Hannah also, he yes, did sir. have a beautiful takedown. He tra he did an outside foot trip on Wilkins with a from dub having double underhooks. Correct. And that, I mean, that counts for quite a bit in and of itself. Hear the crowd? I mean, they obviously know who they want to win this fight. Oh, it's amazing. for me please okay you ready you ready come on let's fight boys neither fighter looks really rattled they're both coming out looking fresh ready to exchange Wilkins looking to throw some of his own knees in retaliation to those that Hannah's been throwing I mean, both of these guys are just tough goers wow. looking, using that tie plum clinch to try to get some knees landed a lot of pushing going from each side. Wow, Good Hannah kick. came real close to stepping right into that head kick. If I'm Wilkins, I'm putting that in the back of my mind on separation to throw that kick. Oh, yeah. Man, both really, really clinching with that tie plum clinch, really looking to get those knees. This is just turning into a gritty, all out dirty fight i mean i would have to say they might both be relatively worn out from that first round to be honest with you i, I agree they're i mean they're both kind of throwing some slug sluggy punches yeah and dirty i don't mean in any way breaking the rules i mean just gritty just yeah. blue collar let's throw down kind of a fight dirty. beautiful trip by a that's the second time he's hit that too just lacing the outside trip, pulling the pulling the foot out from his opponent. No doubt. Wilkins needs to use that cage as his friend. Create yeah. space. Get away from that cage. Nice up kick. Oh, you might have caught him a little bit there with that up kick. A good job to get side control. He cannot lay up against this cage. And man, there it goes. You know, I'm surprised how many times Hannah's been able to mount Wilkins. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, this is the, the second time in so far. 
Is it, it might, might be the third? I, I think, think, it's I think it might be the third, actually. I mean, at least twice it's happened. The, the only problem is Wilkins is so such a good grappler and so slick, and you see this a lot with high-level jiu-jitsu guys. They don't really care that you mount them. You know, mount's not that, that big of a deal to get out of. If you can't escape the mount, then, yeah, that's terrible. But, you know, because the, the thing is, whenever an opponent has, has you mounted, either they're using their arms to hold you down or they're postured up to punch you. Right. And if they are postured up, they're not using their hands, and you can escape. Yeah, it easy. becomes yeah, it becomes a relative. But still, you know, the one or two shot that you're giving your opponent, it's a risk. Oh, absolutely. Wow, some heavy shots coming down from Hannah right now. Really looping that left hand, and Wilkins needs to get up here. I think Hannah's going to be very hard to armbar a triangle. Just look at his body position. He's staying postured high. You know, he's really surprised that he's not, Wilkins isn't grabbing a leg and spinning under. Yeah, definitely was expecting him to be reaching for uh, an underhook on one of his legs. Hannah's just a grinder, man. We've seen that in one of his other fights, which is a brutal KO. Wilkins is looking to turn the tables. And he's back to his feet. Good job of getting up by Wilkins. Another straight hard punch and a simple hammer making it look easy yeah, on that well, kickdown. I'm, I'm really surprised. At, not surprised, I'm just impressed at Hannah's performance right now. A very strong performance so far. If you would have judged the first 10, 15 seconds of this fight, you might have said, wow, this could be a quick night for Wilkins finishing Hannah, but the tables have turned drastically. Oh, absolutely. I have a lot of respect for both of these gentlemen as fighters. They bring it. Wilkins really needs to get up, and he's working on that right now. Now, he, if you're wondering why that there's no knees being thrown by Hannah, you cannot knee a grounded opponent in the head. Correct. Correct. Yeah, I mean, a lot of guys will throw a knee like that into the shoulder blade or the clavicle, but it's just so dangerous to accidentally hit him in the head. Yeah, you can lose a fight that you're winning really quick. Yeah, Wilkins is looking pretty tired. I mean, I didn't want to admit it. I didn't want to say it out loud, but... And he's not afraid to get dirty. No, I mean, he's, here it's getting really dirty right now. Now you're starting to see a scrap. These two guys are just getting in there, and they're throwing punches. And Wilkins has said, I've been on my back enough. I'm throwing with you. And then neither of these guys are afraid to get hit. You couldn't ask for a much better main event. Short time, gentlemen. Oh, high kick by Wilkins. Hannah just walks right through it, though. Wilkins took that big risk, knowing he had less than 10 seconds left in that last round, and he connected, but man, Hanna shook that right off. Rob Hanna finishing out that second round, once again raising his hand in victory. He knows what's going on. He's he's cracking the code to Mike Wilkins as we speak. I mean, if, if the third round continues on with the same progression we've seen from first to second, uh, I, I could see there being a, a, a good shot for Robert Hanna to finish this. Well, he's trying to let the judges also know that, hey, I'm winning. You know, he wants everyone to know that. And I'll tell you, it'd be hard pressed to disagree with him right now. What are you telling your corner right now? If you're Mike Wilkins' corner, what are you saying to him? Yeah, if I'm Mike Wilkins' corner, I'm saying, you know what, bud, we're not playing guard anymore. You need to either get the takedown or you need to be standing and throwing. You know, I, I, if, you, if, if you're a good grappler and you feel like you can get the submission, maybe it's early in the first round and that you, both fighters are dry and, and fresh, go ahead, pull guard, get that sub. This is the third round, and he's not going to win any points in the judges' eyes by being on the bottom attempting submissions. He either needs to be standing up banging or he needs to establish a takedown and get top position in order to win this round. I definitely agree okay, with you. Okay, you ready? Right. You ready? Let's finish it. Third and final round of the main event here, glad to the KG team. And these guys aren't disappointing. We knew this was going to be a good one, a classic. There it is, Mike oh, Wilkins. Strong takedown. That's what I've been looking for for Wilkins. Don't tell me though, Rob Hanna's going for a triangle. Oh, and he switched to a beautiful armbar. 
Wilkins has been here a million times. He's going to step over. Good job, but it allowed Robert Hanna to get up. He used that arm bar as a way to get up. Yeah, I'm, I'm almost surprised he even got that setup in. But Wilkins, he did a, a beautiful, what we call a hitchhiker escape. Once again, Hanna's dictating where this fight's going to go. I think Wilkins knows he needs to get a sub here. And he's going for it. He went for a Kimura there, but a beautiful job of rolling through by Hanna. I'd like to see Wilkins roll through here. I'd really like to see him roll through and scramble. I really think it's almost at that point now. If he tries to get up, Hannah's going to put those hooks in. He's already got one hook in. This is going to be difficult. Oh, wow. Rob Hannah's got the back of Mike Wilkins. The tables have turned. Nice job. Hannah, I'm not sure. I think Hannah kind of belled on that. I, mean, I, I get excited. Mike Wilkins going for another takedown. And another big takedown. Wilkins knows he needs to establish a dominant third round. He, if he, even if he's not going to get the finish, he needs to have it seen in the game. He has to, to win this fight, fight, and he has to do it in a decisive manner. If there's any hope, I think, for him to win this title, it has to be decisive. He's passed. He's now passed the guard. But very nice. great job there by Hannah getting back up. He's scrambling. He's to his knees. He's turtling up. He's trying to get up. Oh, Wilkins got both hooks in. Oh, there the it is. This could be it. He's really That's going deep. In there. That's deep. He's got both hands. That's really deep. He's got the hooks. This this is Mike Wilkins right here. If he finishes this, Grant, be prepared. This place is going to go crazy. He's really getting desperate here. Hannah's really oh, desperate. There here. it is. He transitioned to the triangle arm position. Hand is behind the oh, head. Hannah's so tough here. Hannah might be out. I'm he a, honestly uh, might be out. Oh, Hannah is out. Got, uh, unbelievable. Oh, my God. Unbelievable. What a fantastic job of getting out of that. True gritty performance. Yeah, yeah Rob Hannah. Take out of Hannah. Hannah's still moving forward. I'd love to see Wilkins press the pace now. I know he spent a ton of energy trying to get that choke. These two are just going to go for the fences, I think, here to the end. Oh. Nice, nice throw by Hannah. Beautiful lap. Or, I'm sorry, by, by Wilkins on Hannah. Again, trying to get that, that outside lace on the leg. You can, oh, oh he's wow. going for a knee bar, and he just slipped away. Now, Wilkins just kind of goes to his back. I think he's trying to bait for a submission. But he's so close again to that cage. It's going to be very, very difficult to catch a submission with your head up against the cage. Yeah, just over a minute and a half left in this third round of our main event. Uh, yeah, my, this is close. This is tough. I mean, Mike Wilkins is, is trying to, to steal this third round. And I, I might have it one, one and one, possibly. It depends on how you score that first round. You listen to this crowd. It would be hard. It would be hard for any judge to want to root against Wilkins, but they got to call it as they see it. But man, if there's a hometown advantage, you would think Wilkins has it. Oh, absolutely. Pace is slow, definitely a minute left. But truthfully, I'd like to see him get a stand up here if it doesn't get more exciting here. Less than a minute left. Uh, I can see Chip doing it without a lot of action, but yeah, they're keeping going. Every time it seems to slow, they start throwing some punches. And this is where Hannah's excellent, keeping out of submissions and raining punches. Yeah, Rob, Rob Hanna, now that this is a performance I, I wasn't quite expecting to see. He is grimy. I mean, he is on Mike Wilkins. He's grinding it out. But both of them, you know, well, there's a lot of blood now coming from Wilkins. One of those shots really busted Wilkins open. He is really cut back. There's a trail of blood now following Wilkins. I mean, this is a nasty cut, Grant. I mean, this is a really bad cut. I'm, not, I'm sure they're not going to stop the yeah. fight with 15 seconds left, but. Wow. Something opened him up there. One of those punches. Yeah, Rob Hannah's a beast. Stop! And Mike Wilkins is caught open. Wow. How can you not love that guy? <laughs> <laughs> kind of a ham. He lives, he breathes fighting. Some guys are just born to fight, Grant. He just doesn't want to be a fighter. He's born to be a fighter. Mike Wilkins is born to fight the way I'm born to eat a pomani sandwich. <laughs> 
I tell you, I would not want to be doing the job of the judges right no, now. Both I, of these guys, you know, you can't take anything from either of these guys. Both of these guys are, are born to fight. I mean, I, I could I could see a definite argument that that uh, Rob Hanna won this fight. You know, I could see an argument that uh, that Mike Wilkins won this fight. I would not want to be a judge uh, having to face the crowd after giving the, the, the win one way or the other. I mean, this is Man. tough. Yeah, I don't want to see either of these guys lose. I have a lot of respect for both of them. Both of them fought their heart out and, and, yeah. and fought. You know, they, they weren't afraid. They went for broke. Yeah, well, let's see if we have a look at the instant replay. Maybe we can get some key points down. There we go. Brought to you by Cut and Run from a Productions.com. Man, I thought this choke, I, I really did it. With Mike Wilkins, the level he is of a grappler. And look at that. I thought he was dead to rights. He even gets the second hook in here, and he goes with the choke, but Hannah's like a magician. This is just a testament to Rob Hanna. I mean, that's guts and grittiness and, and technique. Yeah, what a tough guy. He really is. Beautiful job of getting out of that. That was that was very that was probably the closest to the end of the fight. So once again, how can you score against Wilkins in that round? I mean, he almost finished that fight. But when you're getting up out of the corner and your face is covered in blood, I'm sure the judges look at that also and say, hey, there's some damage there. That's effectiveness. Absolutely. Let's send it over to our ring announcer, Dan Bogan, and we can get the official decision. Maybe we're not quite ready for the official decision. But maybe we are. Before we go to the judges' scorecard, we'd like to wish and welcome Dominic the Honey Badger Mazzotta with us this evening. And I forgot from the Pennsylvania State Athletic Commission, Mr. Rick Steigerwald. If you've seen the movie Southpaw, he was the referee in the charity fight scene. Mr. Steigerwald, I apologize for not getting to you sooner. This is why this was the main event. We want to thank the Buckeye Brigade for Hannah and the Wilkins Army for Wilkins. Give it up for both of these guys. That was a brutal war. Come here. Going to the judges' go. scorecard. Judge Kruska scores it 29 28. Judge Long scores it 29 28. And Ju Judge Lipsevic scores it 29 28. For your winner, each one point, each judge, but the winner is by unanimous decision. Fighting out of the blue corner, Rob Hanna! Let's give it up for Mike Wilkins as well, both of these fighters. Take it away, Mackenzie. Good job, you guys. See you boys next week. How does it feel to win in enemy territory? It feels pretty good. Uh, it's been a long journey. I just want to thank everybody that came out tonight. Mike Wilkins is a great opponent, and that was uh, it wasn't it wasn't pretty, but that was a dog fight, and uh, I really appreciate the uh, the support, all my family and friends. People tuned in on the live stream from all over the world, so it's for you guys. Uh, I want to thank my sponsors, uh, Pure Bionutrients. I want to thank Johnny the Furnace Man, Altercation Clothing, my buddy James with uh, Stick em Up Signs and Decals, and my buddy Tony who uh, designed my banner. I appreciate it, man. Hey, hey, this is important. I want to dedicate this fight. Uh, We'd like to dedicate this, this win to Amud Doucette. He's an Ohio uh, wrestling state qualifier who suffered a stroke during practice. And right now he's fighting for his life, man. So uh, our thoughts and prayers go out to his family. This one's for you, buddy. Rob, we'd like to congratulate you becoming a 155 champion for Gladiators of the Cage. See great things in the future for you. Thank you for coming all the way here from Dayton. Congratulations, brother. Give me a hug. Thank you, Robert. Thank you, Rob. 
He's taking the belt back to Dayton. Give it up for Rob Haddock. Tonight, the real winners were the fight fans. An evening of excellent, excellent MMA. We hope you enjoyed yourself. We're back here October 24th at the Sirius Shriner Center. Hope to see you then. We hope you enjoyed your evening. Travel safely. God bless and good night. Well, we just got word it's been made official, and I don't know how it couldn't be. Rob Hanna, Mike Wilkins is officially fight of the night. I don't think there's one more deserving. I, I can't imagine that being a more deserving fight. There were a couple great fights tonight that were in contention, uh, but with the performance we just saw, those guys left everything they had in that cage, and uh, that, that's an easy win for fight of the night. And it had all the consequences. It was a title fight. You know, it was a professional-level fight. It was three five-minute rounds. And, you know, a lot at stake on that. And, um, man, those guys fought. They put their heart and soul into it. And not only that, they're two of the best-known guys in all the Pittsburgh fighting area. And hats off to them. Definitely Absolutely. fight of the night. Absolutely. And Rob Hanna got to keep his uh, undefeated record as well. That, that just makes it even more important. So uh, I think we came up with a decision for knockout of the night, right? Yeah, I, I think there's really not a lot of big questions as far as knockout of the night goes. As we look through the replay, check this out. Wow. Heath Repard. He went through that first round. It looked like he broke his arm or something. He just got completely yeah. dominated by his opponent, Nathan right. Medici. And let's but look at this one more time. Look at this, Grant. Look at this setup just out of nowhere. Watch how quick and boom, Whack. right on the button. And it looked like it was going to be a one-sided uh, fight. And, yeah. man. And you can't see it in the video either, but leading up to that knockout, it actually looked as if the, the doctors might have stopped something with the fight. He got taken down in the first round. He was holding his shoulder. He had to get ice on his shoulder. The yeah. doctor had to come and look at him, and they said, okay, it's okay. He can go, and he went out, and he was like, I got to finish this now or yeah. else I don't know what's going to happen. He we, went out and did it. We definitely noticed it. It looked like a uh, separated shoulder. Maybe he said after the fight, maybe he broke his clavicle. I mean, yep. some serious yep. stuff here, and yet he still goes out there in the second round and throws a punch dead on the money and and lights out. Absolutely. And uh, what did we come up with for submission of the night? You know, I, I think there was a couple really good submissions of the night, but check this out. Dino Juplo, Josh Fremd. And Dino just really sinks us in. Josh doing a, everything he can to break this, but then as soon as his leg lets free, you can see the arm extension here. And oh, so super tight. Both hands, thumb up, perfect execution. And man, no doubt submission of the night. There was another close contender, but I think just at, at the level of that submission, it was just beautiful. Absolutely. The way it was set up, the fact that he had just gotten taken down, it was very early in the first round. We thought it was going to be a three-round war, and it just he wasn't. He just took it up. Grant, what a totally stacked guard from the very first fight to the very last fight. There was not one disappointing fight. It would have been probably the hardest uh, fight card to judge in my eyes, and man, Top to bottom, a great show. Once again, put on a Gladiator of the Cage 18. Absolutely, I would have to agree. And, and one of the things that makes Gladiator the, of the Cage so great is that we have a great promotion. Gladiators of the Cage puts on some fantastic fights. Probably the best fights that you've ever seen in your entire life in the world. Uh, we're also pr produced by Cut and Run Productions. Cut and Run Productions does a class act uh, production. You know, you can go on streampittsburgh.com anytime after this and watch it, watch it for free. You can watch the whole event all over again. Uh, and until next time, I want to remind you guys, we have a lot of the Gladiators of the Cage uh, veterans fighting on September 26th at King of the Cage. It's King of the Cage, Hands of Steel. Got anything you want to say there, Chuck? Hey, I'm looking forward to seeing Milstead fighting at King of the Cage, and uh, I think we're going to be back here. Uh, maybe not this venue, but October, the next Gladiators of the Cage show, from what I'm understanding. And, boy, we got a lot of young up-and-comers that are going to be making their debut, and I'm anxious to see some of these other guys come back and put on another great show. Absolutely. Well... Ladies and gentlemen, until then, peace.